fall is in full swing. Back in California, there weren't a lot of seasons to celebrate. But in the Midwest, there is such a uniqueness in every season. And I love the trees, especially in Kansas City, with all its hues and colors and shades as the summer transitions into winter. I wasn't quite ready for the seasons to transition yet and I didn't travel this summer so I jumped at the opportunity to go to the sunny beaches of Florida. I'm at the airport. We're about to board in a few minutes. I'm just kind of stretching my legs out before the three and a half hour flight. Walking around the airport. I love the Kansas City airport. I love wandering around airports and seeing what they have and I thought there would be more about the election, but not really. Mostly Taylor Swift stuff. We had the luxury of getting a rental car and made it back to where we stayed. We both had our own room, own bathroom, and it was such a nice place. Very enjoyable and I'm very thankful for where we got to stay. There's just something about palm trees by the beach that's just so tropical and luxurious. I wasn't sure what the beach would look like because Florida got hit by the two hurricanes recently, Hurricane Milton and Hurricane Helene. And we could see the mounds of sand that covered parking lots and the debris that were put in dumpsters. We were at Clearwater Beach and this one seemed to be mostly cleaned up. The next day when we went to St. Pete, it seemed like there was more destruction. But it was just kind of crazy to see just how much damage the storm did but also see how the beach was very beautiful and enjoyable as well. Clear water lived up to us. The water was so clear and there were all these seashells, shimmery ones and white ones and all different kinds. It was such a lovely time. I was able to enjoy getting in the water, watching the waves roll over. These are kind of small baby waves though. And watch the sunset, collect seashells, walk along the beach, eat snacks, have good conversation, and really just enjoy. This has been a crazy year, a year of transition for me. I was reflecting on this last year and just thinking about the goodness of God and his faithfulness. And even little things like finding a sand dollar was so marvelous to me. I wasn't looking very hard, but I found one just in the sand pretty easily. And I think there is that wonder that gets awakened in me when I'm in a new place and I'm just in nature and surrounded by beauty, thinking of how the Lord has led me and how well he has led me. This was also a very humbling trip because my friend was going to meet her fiance and they were celebrating their first one year anniversary. And I was so happy to celebrate and support this occasion, but also recognize that I'm a supporting role <laughs> in my friend's life and I'm not the main character. 
it's just interesting to recognize that dynamic as I get older and be at peace with where I am in my life. The next day we went to St. Pete and the destruction there was more in your face. I think because they were small homes and not parking lots that were closer to the shore and we were just driving through streets and streets of debris and they were vacuuming out water and just kind of uh, d damage everywhere. Here you can see some palm trees just completely fallen. There were these big yellow pipe things that were getting all the water out. Very heavy duty. But when we got to the beach, it was beautiful. There were a lot of shells there and caution signs, but we had a lot of fun collecting shells and looking at all the different unique ones. Every beach truly is different. Because there were so many shells at this beach, we didn't go in the water as much, but I found a sand dollar and it was just very lovely to be out listening to the sound of the waves crashing and really soak up the sunshine and relax and enjoy. The next day we were flying out, so we decided to enjoy the pool at this resort nearby that we got a day pass to. And it was, again, a different experience, but just very lovely to be in not sandy or shelly water and kind of have live music and look at the palm trees and the lounge chairs. So it was just such a nice end to the vacation. We even saw a few geckos in the wild. We made our way back to Kansas City and then set up at this really beautiful house from the 1910s. A lot of work had been put into it, but it was so beautiful. I love the history and all the details that had gone into decorating the cool lamps and the unique little details. Thank you.